her pulling away. There it is. Okay, you three! <laughs> Dude, show some stamina. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Uh, something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. Deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh... Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. <laughs> oh god, fucking kill me. In your books, maybe? Look, the only different thing is that the difference is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a, a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run? Yeah, where did she go? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not uh, to not go home with her, you picked the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, everybody. Calm down! I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. Well, what did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... You just gonna ignore me? What the fuck? What the fuck, Monica? Well, let's decide what everyone will, will be d doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Of course you do. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them. Uh, uh, uh. uh, uh great. And different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry and pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can, um... Um, you can, um, do stuff. Uh, guys, can you help me, uh, come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Now Natsuki pout- Now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. Yes, I never gave you Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. <sighs> that may be the case. But if I can't also be the leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Uh, about that. I- I love atmosphere. Sorry. I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Also, apparently, I don't know what this happened, but we've actually gone down from 144 to, uh, 142. Hmm. Don't know when that happened, but it did. Your mind is already racing, I say. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Uwu Kagu. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. You're gonna be our stripper. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I'd be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. I could give to you. Wow. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Wow, Yuri, you're really pushing for me. Look at, look at fucking Yuri pushing for me. 
Ooh, a Kagu may not like to be around you if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, you may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Ooh, Kagu to- What are you saying? It will be extremely malicious, meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? The guys, this guys, he's gonna hang out with me. <laughs> Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Ooh, Kagu to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Monica the Snake? Look at her. So I'm sure he's interested in you literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. Look at Monica! From all the way from downtown! It's like, I'm still in the game, baby! <laughs> I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. You're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looked straight at me. Fuck! And Sayori's an option? Oof. 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 Let us save that shit. These are my options. There is no Natsuki. Oof. Alright, I've already committed. I feel bad for Sayori. Monica's kind of a snake. I see your game, Monica. I see your game. We haven't hung out too much. See your game. But those three dots, though. Between Yuri and Sayori. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Something bad's gonna happen to Sayori if I don't pick her. Fuck it. Well, I'll probably be the most helpful! Yuri! Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki? I can already tell you're, you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying... So you'll be helping Yuri then, Uwukagu? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have had a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things, so I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the bacon yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, I'm excited. Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same, Uwukagu? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll all turn out. That's good enough for me! What about you, Natsuki? <laughs> Natsuki? WHAT?! Why is everyone yelling at me?! I didn't even do anything. Fuck. No, that's not how, what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry. I don't really know why Ugu. Yeah, everyone knows. Every, everyone knows. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare that. So, so, I get it. Fuck. I'm amazing. Kind of surprised though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that, but you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she'd try to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. 
You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. You fucking slut! Uh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. Get the fuck out of my club. Let's head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Oh. What's up, Yuri? Uh, I turn around. Sorry. I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be best. The best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Uh, my house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense, but if you don't mind, I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just, I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Uwukagu. I think that will make a very productive team, even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looked straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, it's a date. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. We made out. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots her through the roof. Even though I'm, I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is it a chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? I don't know! Only time will tell. Take off her clothes? We're taking off her clothes! But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. What happened to Sayori? It's already Sunday. Wow, we skipped a whole Saturday. Holy shit. Let me fucking save. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. <laughs> it's go time. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. I just heard a door open. That was terrifying. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early that other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Aren't you fuckers neighbors? Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? 